this is Guardian and it has landing gear and it also can carry missiles. It has two missile racks to equip missiles to. This, these missiles are Jason Merrill's Hunter missile. I'll put them in the description. And it does fly, um, but I'm not gonna include that because I'm lazy. It has two air intakes. Kind of hard to see there because but it has two air intakes, two engines, and a very nice, simple silhouette, and it'll sure to turn heads. But one special thing about this is that it's made from eight and a half by 11 inch paper. So you can just get your standard printer paper if you're in the US, and then that can be your plane. To fold Guardian, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to fold this like that. Make sure that this comes to a point. And then the same thing on the other side, just like this. And then you're going to flip it over. And then fold it in half. Then you're going to squash fold this flap, just like this, and this plane starts a lot like Raven. So if you've ever folded Raven by Jason Merrill, then you'll know how to do this, how to do the beginning. Then flip. Oh, and you're going to want to squash fold this big flap and then flip it over and then make sure everything is aligned and in the center. Same thing. And then just like that. What you're going to do now is you're going to flip it over and fold the flap up, this big flap, as far as it will go. And now you can kind of see how uh, there's a point right here, and that's this. And you're going to fold to that. It's kind of hard to see, but just like that. And then you're going to fold this flap back up. Now, what you are going to do is you're going to flip it over and fold this into the center, just like that. And then fold this into the center, just like that. And then again into the center. Now you're going to repeat that on the other side.
And now, what you're going to do is you're going to open it up, pull out just the top layer of trapped paper, and then fold it down and squash it. And it's going to uh, pedal fold this flat. So fold the edges into the center. Just like that. And then you're going to pedal fold. Just not like that. I'm going to, yeah, like that. That's good enough. It's fine. This is fine. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to undo the pedal fold. And then you're going to open it up and then take apart the layer that you've just pedal folded just like like this and then what you're going to do you're going to stand this up and then you're going to collapse it down make sure that every layer goes like this or something like that. Now, now that you have this, what you're going to do now, you're going to kind of squash fold this down and then kind of inside reverse fold kind of just like that and this is not supposed to come to here it's supposed to go a little bit further out you can see usually it's not that far out so I just fix it oh it's fine whatever just a tutorial um, and then you're going to do it again so that you have something that looks like this. And what you're going to do is you're going to push this in and then collapse it. Just like so. This is starting a lot like Vulcan. Wait, no, that was that was for Hornet. Um, this starts a lot like Raven. And now, what you're going to do is you're going to open this up, pull these layers to the side, and then sink this side. This this step is optional. You don't have to do it. Oh. But it just looks a little bit cleaner if you do do it. Now, just kind of tuck that in there, and just like that, the other side. You know, poke this into place, 
with my little shaper thingy. Okay, and now that that has been taken care of, you can open this out, fold this out of the way. You're not gonna do any new creases, just kinda get it out of the way. And then you're gonna fold this to that edge. Just like this. And then you're going to, oh, it's right here. Um, and then you're going to could continue that crease, just like that, just like in Ripper. Boom. Now, I'm going to getting ahead of myself. Okay. And now, what you're going to do is you're going to reverse this crease and then collapse it to make a new crease here. Just like that. Easy peasy. And now that you have this, here comes a little bit more of a difficult step. It's, this step creates the air intakes. You don't need to do it, it just makes air intakes. Um, I, so what you're going to do, is you're going to open up this flap, and then just kind of go like this. I'm going to crease this and then continue and then use the existing creases there to collapse it just like that. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to take this flap and you're going to fold it along this edge right here. Just like that. Like that, there. And then you're going to rabbit ear this step or this flap. Just like that. And then the actual rabbit ear fold. I'm going to fold those two sides together. And boom. Okay, and now that that's the rabbit ear fold, you're going to fold it inwards that it points to the model. And then you're going to fold it out along the edge, you can kind of see it. Or you can just do it so that it hits the end right here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to squash fold this flap just like that and make sure everything is aligned you can see kind of see on the inside how everything is aligned or you could go like this go like that and that is another way you can see if everything is aligned or not but it is and so i'm going to open it back up oh wait no don't open it back up yet um you're going to fold the sides inwards. Just like that. 
And then you're gonna do that to the other side. And then fold it up and petal fold it. Hmm, it's being a little bit weird. Hold on. Whatever. Okay. So that is one missile rack. Now what you're going to do is you're going to fold this down. Just like that, and then you're going to fold this in. Just like that. And now, what you're going to do is you're going to inside reverse fold this so that it's parallel to the fuselage. Just like that. And then inside reverse fold. There. And now what you're going to do is you're going to fold this up. These will become the engines later. And then you're going to fold this up as well and then you're going to fold it to here and then you're going to fold it to the you're going to make fold the crease along the you're going to make this new crease um in between the two creases you've just made so I think I need to crease this one more. And then, just like that, crease it in between. Oh, sorry, could you guys see that? I don't know. Um, now, just squash fold this down, just like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to fold this into thirds. But my thirds were really bad, so I'm gonna re redo that. There, just like that. And then you're going to do that again. And you can fold it to this along this little flap that you folded. That helps a lot. And then fold it along that, just like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to un unfold these and then you're going to inside reverse fold them. And make sure that it comes to a point too, because that's important. And you're going to fold this out and then fold that to the point as well. Put that down. And then an easier way to do this is to inside reverse fold this and then kind of just crease this out. Kind of just fold that out and then that 
creates a nice point right here. And then you can inside reverse fold this one last time to get the rear landing gear strut. Just like this. And now what you're going to do is you're going to fold oh, it's on here. Okay. You're going to fold this from like along along here usually is right, but what you what you're aiming for is to here. And you want, you kind of want it, the landing gear strut to be, uh, you don't want it to be like that where you can see the landing gear strut. You want it to be, you want it to be like that so that you don't see the landing gear strut. So that's what it looks like when it's retracted. And then you can fold it. Fold the next one just like that. There's no like reverse folds. You don't need to reverse any folding there. It's easy, simple, just do it like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to open this up and then fold this not to the line, but to right there where, where the landing gear strut kind of pops out. I'm gonna fold it right there. It's not necessarily to the line. Okay. Um going on here okay so now what you're going to do is you're going to fold this up fold the landing gear strut up and then you're going to fold this up as well and then just like in ripper you're going to do the same exact thing almost the exact same thing but you're going to Please, you're going, instead of doing this, instead of making a sharp point, you're going to go to the back and then fold this up to the end, to the bottom of the fuselage, just like that. And now what you're going, to, see how there's like a little bit of room there? Now what you're going to do, you're going to open it up, outside reverse fold. And then double inside reverse fold. There. Well, that's almost one side complete. Almost. What you gotta do is you gotta make the engines now. Now, if you wanna fold from here to the point, not to the point, you wanna fold from here so that this point goes inside of the fuselage and it touches the end. So, watch. Just like that. That will become the engines. And now to repeat the whole thing on the other side. Just gotta open this up, put this inside. And then follow the crease. Crease that really well so that I can reverse it. And then collapse. And then do the thing with the Taking apart the layers. 
just like that. By the way, you don't have to, like, you can you can do it on the other side. Um, can do the other side uh, without me having to do the other side. Uh, while you're going on, like, doing the first side as well. I just like looking, seeing the before and after. It's kind of a habit, I guess. Okay, there. And then you want to fold this up so that it aligns with the edge of the wing, just right here. And then crease that. And then grab it here, fold that. Let's scoop my chair up so it's easier for me to see. Um, there. And then just like that. There. And now pull that onto the other side and then crease it to the edge. Put the point on the edge and crease it. Wash fold, very difficult. It was super tiny. There. Now, pedal fold by by folding these up, putting on the other side. Now, just pedal fold this. Just like that. Alright, another missile rack. And then fold this down, just like that. And then fold this inside again, just like that. And now fold this along the edge to the point. Fold this up. Fold this to the edge. And fold this into thirds. Oh, that was a nice first try.
Now, uh, unfold inside a reverse fold. Again, inside reverse fold. These inside reverse folds are very annoying. But they make landing gear, so I'm not complaining. Or I am, but I'm like, I don't mind too much. Okay. That was a lot better than the other one. And you fold this up just like that. Reverse the crease. Oh, whoops, I accidentally covered up the landing gear strut. I want that to come out and not stay in. Okay. And just fold this in. Got a step right here. Don't worry, an easy fix though. Because you can book match it. Helps a lot. Looks good. Hmm. The layers are really thick there. Okay. There. Now I can fold this back. Just like that. And then just fold right here. Outside reverse fold and double inside reverse fold. underneath just like that and I think that's it I think I've done everything on both sides and so now you're going to take this and you're going to you're going to just take take one of the flaps just the one with the engine for, for right now and you're going to fold that up and you're going to take this and then the one with the landing gear strut fold that up making the jet fold and then you can kind of crease that just not too hard though because you don't want it to tear there and then fold that up again that to the point pull that up just like that and then kind of 
fold that up too. And then you can jet fold. Now it's going to be very thick, so just be warned that it might tear. And pull these up, pull the wings up. Hold the fins to place and you're almost done. All you have to do is just the locking mechanism and shaping and landing gear. So because this is so thick, it really likes to tear. So I don't like sp spending too much time. So I just fold it up and fold it up twice and then leave it be. That locks it pretty good, actually. I think that's probably one of the best locking, uh, locking I've ever done on this model. I've made this model so many times. Um, and then you're going to fold the landing gear struts down. About, about there looks good. But what looks good is important too. So it doesn't matter how far you do it as long as it looks good for you. And then you can fold down the landing gear strut again to your liking. And about that is what I want. And you're almost done. All you have to do is separate these just a little bit, make it easier and to kind of inside reverse fold this up a little bit to make it more durable I guess um and then all you have to do now is shape the engines which will be a cakewalk if you've made it this far something more. I'm going to use this pencil. I don't really like um, using pencils because then it, like unless if it's a mechanical pencil because then you can kind of go like that and there's no lead exposed and then you can kind of shape it with that. But other than, but I don't really like using pencils to shape out things because then there's just kind of like marking markings everywhere and it's kind of hard to erase them. So just like that, the engines have been made and the intakes. All you really got to do is just take one of these flaps and then fold, fold it up like that. Very simple air intake design. Um, but it works because there's air intakes on it now. And yeah, that is Guardian. That's Guardian. One more thing I have forgotten. It's that Guardian can be equipped with missiles, but you might not know how to equip missiles onto Guardian. It's a, it's a slightly difficult process, but what you have to do is you have to open up the missile racks kind of like this and then you take you find a tab on your missile I'm using Jason Merrill's hunter missile if you were wondering I'll probably link his um, video in the description and I will insert the tabs into their respective places and then just kind of like press it against to make everything all creased up and fine. Get everything recreased. And that is one missile attached. And same thing on the other side to attach the other missile. Just need 
another missile. And insert it just like that. And then again, I just kind of press it up against the wing to crease everything and to lock it into place. And that is Guardian with equipped with missiles.